Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Norfolk, Virginia. Yeah, I'm back in the States. Today we're going to do a video review on G1, the Protectabot Hotspot. Now, I, I, I really like this baby blue, blue color, and you hardly get to see fire engines that color. To tell you the truth, I've never seen one myself. Wish I had a little spinner thing, you know what I'm talking about, so you can showcase this. But this is really well molded. Unfortunately, uh, as time went on with the G1, there was less and less chrome, less and less die cast, and this uh, really doesn't have any die cast, n very minimal chrome, but it does have rubber wheels, and I really dig this. Uh, it's not that bad. I'll show you the detail. I love the fact that the ladder does extend, and it extends quite a bit. There's no doubt about that. That is one big extending ladder. All right, let's go back to that. So, it, yeah, it can definitely reach the third floor or something. And the figure I have here isn't 100% complete. It does miss in a few things, but I like the stickers on there. I like the little whatever flame decal that is. The black paint on the, what you call it, windows? <laughs> yeah, windows. It rolls well enough, even though, you know, hey, it's six wheels. What else can I say? It looks good from the front, coming uh, details real good. You know, you got your G1 symbol here, rep sign on the top here, which I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, he's an Autobot. Good detail, maroon color in the back, so not no check extra as a vehicle mode. It's really, really good. I'll give that an 8.5. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It has a little neat function with the ladder. What can I say from the bottom? All the <laughs> stickers are apparent, but other than that, you can't tell it's a robot from the bottom, so it, it hides it really well. It's one of the very few Transformers where you can't tell. I mean, apparently from the seams, you know, it's... The cab is sliced in half, but it's really good. So aside from that, we got your tech specs. So if you want to go pause it, you can see what Hotspot does. Uh, tech specs, you know, that's his uh, function. Protect a bot leader. Rust never sleeps, neither do I. Yeah, I'm stealing a page from RuneScape. I don't care. And if you have the little tech spec reader, you can read that. I, I can't. Comes with a lot of extras. Let's see, two pistols, and I'm definitely going to arm them. Got a little chest piece, the foot pieces, and two fists. Whoa, almost fell there. And what else we got here? Yeah, the little waist piece. No problem though. So, looking good. Only thing I'm missing is not 100% complete, like 95% complete or something. I'm missing the two repair arms, and that's all right. Let's go ahead and transform this. I mean, like any other G1, it's relatively simple. Pull out the Pull the feet out, and oh my goodness, can I say that these, this feet one, the the, uh, the right is relatively tough, so I'm going to have to finesse that one. Oh, goodness. And, oh, look at all that force I had to do to take that out. I'm sweating just doing that. Okay, so right, right quick, split the arms in half, and we're almost done here. Flip that, uh, flip to the bottom, and look at all the stickers are applied there you got that on this chest so yeah you gotta apply a few stickers his arms there's a switch here on the arms pop out and holy cow it is difficult to pop out these arms next thing you know weird yeah the, the face should have just popped out it's a it's not like a, a hinge or something but yeah yeah or spring rather now it's not wanting to pop out you know how it is there we go so it's one of the few protective bots, and I'm gonna have to move this back so you can actually see this. See, all right, let me just go ahead and raise that up. You can see the deal detail and everything. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in a little hotel room or something. I'm as much as a hotel room as I can say. So you can see a little detail. Let's see the detail on the face. This is back before light piping, so you can kind of see. I don't know if you can tell, red eyes, limited articulation, but what can you say, you know? No shoulder joints. The knee joints kind of weird, they move, or the feet joint, leg joint, sorry, they move to the side. Weird looking double joint, and that's because he's going to form, what's that guy's name, Defensor, right? So let me get the size comparison out of the way, let me go ahead, posability is limited, what can't I say? There he is, go ahead and move him back so you can see, he is about a deluxe class there he is with Voyager Class C spray or whatever his variant is. Don't get me wrong. I don't know what his variant is. So, yeah. So, he's a slightly smaller Voyager Class. He's more of a deluxe class size. And, yeah, if you want, you can definitely stow that over there. 
The robot mode's okay, not bad. You know what, I'm gonna give him a 6.5 because he's looking rather not that bad. I love the baby blue. I love the detailing on that. Robot, or the head is not on the swivel, the little tiny head. Shoulder joint just moves in and out. Goes up and down, so that's about it. No wrist swivels, nothing like that, but it is G1. And of course, a double jointed leg. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and transform him to Defensor, and that's really not that bad. Oh yeah, let me arm him up. I mean, he's got two guns, right? Yeah, there we go. Little weird pegs, they're not circular at all, but hey. So he can be loaded for bear. Not bad. Again, not a bad little protector bot. But let me go ahead while I got the time. And I definitely do have the time. Let's go ahead and transform them. Get them onto defensor mode. Just put the fist up. You got this little tab right here that goes back down. So the face really doesn't do much, so all we have is this back piece over here, and he's one of the few, if not the only, uh, what do you call that, Gestalt figure whose head actually you can manipulate. And it kind of have to rotate this up a bit. There we go. And then just pop it in there. So yeah, legs right here. They do a 90 degree little bend right here. Sweet. Okay, I don't have a tripod or anything because, you know, I'm packed out. <laughs> I'm living out of my briefcase. So I don't have any neat little things. And this is where all the other things come into effect. Yeah, I definitely do wish I had a little tripod or something to help tell this out. But that's all right. We'll be fine. Okay, let's see. And you got these little pieces right here. They just pop in. So yeah, you know, I apologize if everything's out of the frame or something, and that's quite all right. All right, so there you go. <laughs> and of course, the little piece right here will tab in, and they actually have little tabs in the feet over here where you can do that. So maybe if I'm particularly good, I'll do that real quick, so yeah. And I do have a knockoff of, the, of this guy. Uh, okay, just rough, okay, so you can have, have an idea. There he is with his head. All the other ones just pour him in there. So, hey, it's not bad for what you get, right? Yeah, the def defensor's coming to get you. <laughs> I love the head, though. What can I say? All right, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.